Please subscribe, like, and share. It really helps us out. And of course, if you have any questions, comment below and we will answer you as soon as we can. Welcome to the next of our videos in our series on IGCSE Geography. This is episode 3.6. In today's lesson, we will be learning about water. If you haven't seen our previous videos, click on the card above. First, let's look at the global demand for water. The amount of water used in the world every day is very uneven. More economically developed countries use more water than less economically developed countries. Households, farming, and industry all demand water. What the water is used for depends on the country. In general, less economically developed countries, like Bangladesh and Malawi, will have most of their water used in agriculture, farming, and little in industry or domestic use. Bangladesh as farming is a large part of its economy so a large percentage of its water is used for that purpose. More economically developed countries, like the UK, have more significant use of water for domestic reasons. More economically developed countries also tend to have a higher percentage of industrial use. There are exceptions. The United States is a more economically developed country, but it still has a high amount of water used for agriculture because there is also a lot of farming across the country. Now, let's consider water use per person. The amount of water use per person in each country changes dramatically. The bar chart shows the total amount of water use per person in selected countries. Firstly, let's consider the use of water for agriculture. In more economically developed countries, irrigation is mechanized. Sprinklers or timed irrigation feeds are used. Where agriculture is common, vast amounts of water can be released at the touch of a button. In less economically developed countries, irrigation channels are prone to losing water through evaporation. Next, let's consider industrial use. Industries in more economically developed countries can be on a large scale, and so demand a lot of water. The steel industry is an example of an industry that needs a large water supply for manufacturing purposes. Less economically developed countries have smaller scale cottage industries. They demand less water in the production of items. However, as more multinational companies locate in less economically developed countries there will be more demand for water. For example, in India, drinks manufacturers use over a million liters of water a day to produce drinks. In more economically developed countries there are a lot of facilities which demand water use. For example, showers, baths, washing machines, and swimming pools. In less economically developed countries many people do not have access to piped water and so use it more sparingly. Water may be brought to the home from a well or stream. As a country becomes more wealthy, there will be an increase in its demand for water. Higher levels of industrialization and more domestic goods such as washing machines, all lead to an increase in demand for water. With greater wealth, there is also more demand for spas, golf courses, and even baths and showers. Let's look at water management. There are problems in supplying water in more economically developed countries. These are The quality of available water Distribution The seasonal changes in supply Broken pipes when transporting water Both water supply and the demand for water need to be managed. In the UK there is a big issue with water supply. Areas that receive high amounts of rainfall tend to be sparsely populated. One third of the UK population lives in Southeast England. This is also the driest area in the UK. Ways to manage the water supply include Making sure the broken pipes are mended, as water loss from broken pipes can be as much as 30%. Using reservoirs and dams in one area to pipe water into large urban areas. Making sure that the water supply is of good quality, reducing fertilizer use on farms helps this. In December 2010, over 40,000 people had water supply problems in Northern Ireland. One reason was that the water pipes were quite old, some over 60 years old. This meant that when there was a spell of very cold weather, many pipes could not cope and the pipelines failed. 
the demand for domestic water can be monitored. Households with water meters in the UK use less water in general than those without. Households can also conserve water. Ways to do this are having a shower instead of a bath, collecting rainwater to use in the garden rather than tap water, recycling bath water to flush the toilets with, Installing more efficient versions of appliances such as washing machines. Industries can also look to recycle wastewater. For example, when using water for cooling and steelmaking, the water can be recycled again and again in the process. In agriculture, drip feed irrigation systems could be used rather than sprinkler systems. Have a look at the description below to find the case studies for this section. Review these and remember the details. Case studies are useful to cite during your exam. Thank you for watching our video. Please like, subscribe and share. And comment below so we can clarify things for you.